Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 7. We will present our eh, we will present our assignment about identification of the biology habitat and activity pattern of the pest. Before that, I will introduce our member. Our member consists of Muhammad Dafa Herda Pramudia with study number 104 and Muhammad Yusuf Effendi with study number 105, Karenski Yaskiel Putra with student number 108, Putra Sija Dharma with student number 109, and Farel Erda Padipja with student number 111. So we will go to our first, first topic is insect identification. Next. Insect identification is according to sample in 2009, the characteristic of the adult from the phylum class in the insect as hexapod include the outside of the body is covered by a hard layer called the integument or exoskeleton. The body consists of the three segments, namely the head or chaput, chest or thorax, and abdomen. The head was the head has one pair of antennae, one pair of mandibles, has maxilla and labium, and has one pair of compound eyes. On the chest, there are three pairs of legs and one or two pairs of wings. Next. Insects have several types in each anatomy, namely moon types legs or foot types, wing types or pteron, antenna types or antennae. Next. The first is moon types. First type of moon type is T-wing. This type of moon is the type that is often found in the young and adult insects. The mandible of this type of insect skeletalize moving trans transversely so there are that it can be used to cut like a knife. Insects are usually able to beat and chew their food. Second is cutting or springing. The absorbent cutter type can be found in backface. Insects of this type have mandibles and maxillae that are elongated and function and as styles for piercing the skin. Third is pointing. The fly has a modified mode type like a spong. The fly, their flies first with the food with their safari, salivary secretion then lick the food. Next of the moth type is siphoning. This type is usually found in butterflies and moths. The insect sucks fluid through the proboscis. The shape of proboscis is elongated and coiled. The second is piercing sucking. This type of piercing sucking moth is modified to penetrate the external barrier of the host, and fluids are expelled from the body to facilitate the absor absorption of food. The third is chewing living. Honeybees and other types of bees have a special type of mouth apparatus to use food liquids, namely in this case nectar and honey. The main oral apparatus consists of the maxilla belly L complex. Wings type of orbiteron. According to scenario 1991, there are modified forms of insect wings according to the, or to the order, namely as follows. First is in trips. In a zone of the four wings and hind wings are tufted. The second is in beetles, coleoptera. The four wings are harder and are called elytra. The third is diptera in flies. The front wings are fully developed, while the hind wings undergo a double structural modification called dumbbells. Next wing type is hemiptera in ladybugs. The four wings are partly hardened and 
some remain in the form of a membrane containing the wing bones. The next one, in grasshopper or orthoptera, the four wings are parchment to true to be protective for the hind wings and are called tegmina. For the leg or foot type, according to sample 2009, there are several forms of typical insect leg or feet and their function namely as follow. The first is cursorial type. This leg type has long and slender legs. This type of limb is usually used for walking and running, for example, rats and beetles. The second one is fos fossorial type. The four limbs are shortened and contain thick skeleton. These limbs are used for digging, characterized by the presence of very hard front nails. For the example, is cricket. The third one is saltorial type. The shape of the leg that serves to jump, characterized by enlargement of the femur of the hind leg. For example, praying mantis. The next one is a uh, raptorial type, legs that function to catch and grip prey characterized by enlargement of the forelimb femur, for example, human lice. And the next one is natatorial type, limbs that function for swimming, characterized by a flat shape and the presence of a group of long swimming hairs, for example, DTC8, beetles and sheep, but but ambu ambulatorial type legs that function to walk characterized by the femur and tibia being longer than the rest of the leg. These limbs are the common form of insect limbs. And then the antenna type, the types of insect antenna according to the ETL 2009 are as follows. First, that the shows like spans or receive hair and the tech men become more slender toward the ends. For example, are dragonflies, needle dragonflies, and leaf jumpers. Second, filiform. Filiform like traits, the segments are about the same size from base to trip and run in a shape, for example, ground beetle. Third, moniliform. Moniliform like beads, the internodes are the same size and rounded in shape, for example, wood shape. The first type, uh, the first of antenna type is shared like a saw. Their antennas are triangular in the shape, especially in the middle or two thirds of the end. For example, the beetle jump back, pectinate like. Forms have literally elongated segment, flanders, and long. For example, fire color beetle. And then the shape, clavet, the shape of the club, the segment in, increase in diameter towards the distal or getting to at the end. The bigger the example is clavet. The next one is nicolet, nicolet, elbow shape. The first segment is long, the next segment is small, and forms an angle with the first segment. For example, it's uh, ants and stack beetles. And then plumos, plumosa likes like feathers, most of the segment with long hairs, for example, in male mosquitoes. Uh, the third material is biology of insects. According to John 2009, most species of insects have males and females that mate and reproduce sexually. The reproductive organs of insects are similar in structure and function to those of vertebrates. A male tests produce sperm and a female ovaries produce eggs. Both of types of gametes are haploid and unicellular, but eggs are usually much larger in volume than sperm. Metamorphosis. Insect typical pass through four distinct life stages. Eggs, larva, or nymph, pupa, and adult. Eggs 
are light singly or in masses in or on plant tissues or another insect. The embryo within the egg develop and eventually a larva or nymph emerges from the egg. There are generally several larva or nymphal stages in start. It's progressively larger and requiring a mouth or sheet of the outer skin between each stage. The two types of metamorphosis typical of insect pests and natural enemies are gradual. The stage is egg, nymph, adult, and the complete the stage is egg, larva, pupa, adult. Next. The next is ecology of insect. Insect ecology means the study of insects and their interaction with living place or the environment or ecosystem. In agriculture, insects can act as phytopathies, predatory insects, parasitoids, vectors of plant diseases, and pollinators. As phytopathies, insects attack plants by searching and sucking stellata type of mon apparatus or feeding and chewing mandibular type of mon apparatus their host plants. Orders of insects whose member species play a role as phytopathus, among others, are Lepidoptera, Hemiptera, Orthoptera, Diptera, and Polyoptera. Internal and external factors. Inner factors come from in the insect's body itself, consists of personality, self-preservation, secretio, life cycle, and imago age. External factors are environmental factors that come from outside of the insect's body. External factors consist of physical factors, biotic factors, and nutritional factors. The next is activity of insect. <coughs> the first version of this painting, divide into two plot is active and passive. Insect can spread by their own ability and are not caused by external factor. This is called an active activity pattern. Active activities can be carried out by insects by walking and flying. In general, insects will on their fleet. But in insects that have wings, they are able to move place by flying. Then passive. Insects that move or move passively are influenced by external factors, such as blown by the wind, waste away in the water and carry it away with the material. Then crowding. The first is solitary insects. An insect can death live on in its own except to mate is solitary. Solitary wasps are the most common solitary insects. They seek out food and shelter without assistance from others. Then gregarious insects. Behavior is commonly associated with social insects that live in communal colonies. See sociality of insects, but it is also widespread among the non-social insects. Diurnal insects. Diurnal organisms are those that are active during the day. Diurnal insects are not attracted to like common examples include most species of butterfly and dragonfly. The last one is nocturnal insects. Nocturnal insects are insects that feed and hunt during night time. They are active only at night. They have evolved a remarkable visual ability to navigate at night with their superposition 
carbon ash. They are sensitive to light and they move to, to and from their nest using pre-learned visual landmarks. Some of the more common nocturnal insects are mosquitoes, bit bugs, and crickets. If you have any question, you can put your question in Spada Forum. Thanks. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.